Today, we're going to take a deep dive into one of the most famous and terrifying legends in American history, the Bell Witch. The Bell Witch was a mysterious entity that haunted the Bell family of Tennessee in the early 1800s. The witch could speak, move objects, change shape, and perform other supernatural feats. The witch seemed to have a special hatred for John Bell, the father of the family, and his daughter Betsy, who was engaged to a young man named Joshua Gardner. The witch claimed to have killed John Bell by poisoning him, and then left after Betsy broke off her engagement with Joshua. But who or what was the Bell Witch? Where did it come from and what did it want? And is there any truth to this legend or was it all a hoax? These are some of the questions we're going to try to answer in this video. But before we do that, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more mystery content. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. The story of the Bell Witch begins in 1817 when John Bell witnessed a strange creature resembling a dog with the head of a rabbit on his farm. He shot at it, but it disappeared. Soon after, his family started hearing weird noises in their house, such as knocking, scratching, gnawing, and chains dragging. They also felt something pulling their hair, pinching their skin, and slapping their faces. Sometimes they heard a voice that could imitate anyone or anything. The voice would sing, laugh, curse, gossip, and argue with them. The voice said it was a spirit that had been disturbed by the bells when they dug up some bones from a nearby mound. The voice also said it was one of seven spirits with different names, such as Black Dog, Mathematics, Cypography, Jerusalem, Three Waters, Tynaperty, and Black Dog. The voice seemed to know everything that was happening in the area and even repeated sermons from churches miles away. Many people came to visit the Bells and witness the witch's antics. Some of them tried to communicate with the witch or challenge it. Some of them were friendly and curious, while others were skeptical and hostile. The witch would respond differently depending on how it felt about them. Some people claimed to have seen the witch in different forms, such as animals or people. Some people claimed to have shaken hands with the witch or felt its breath on their necks. The witch's main targets were John Bell and Betsy Bell. The witch said it wanted to kill John Bell and stop Betsy from marrying Joshua Gardner. The witch would torment John Bell by making him sick and weak. The witch would also interfere with Betsy's relationship with Joshua by making fun of them or hurting them. The witch even tried to persuade Betsy to marry someone else. In 1820, John Bell's condition worsened and he became bedridden. His son found a vial of poison in the cupboard and the witch said it had given it to John Bell. They tested the poison on a cat and it died instantly. John Bell died the next day on December 20th. The witch celebrated by singing drinking songs at his funeral. After John Bell's death, the witch left for a while but came back in 1821. It told Betsy that it would leave for good if she broke up with Joshua Gardner. Betsy agreed and ended her engagement with Joshua. The witch then said it would return in seven years. In 1828, the witch came back as promised but found less interest from the Bells and their neighbors. The witch only talked to Lucy Bell, John's widow, who was kind to it. The witch also talked to John's sons Richard and Joel, but they ignored it. The witch soon left again and said it would come back in 107 years. The story of the Bell Witch has been told and retold for almost two centuries. It has inspired many books, movies, songs, and artworks. It has also attracted many researchers and investigators who have tried to find out more about the legend and its origins. Some people have suggested natural or scientific explanations for the phenomenon, such as hallucinations, hysteria, hypnosis, ventriloquism, fraud, or pranksters. Some people have suggested supernatural or paranormal explanations for the phenomenon, such as ghosts, demons, witches, genie, vampires, or poltergeists. 
Some people have suggested historical or cultural explanations for the phenomenon, such as folklore, superstition, religion, politics, or psychology. But none of these explanations can fully account for all the aspects of the legend or satisfy all the questions that remain unanswered. The Bell Witch is still a mystery that defies rationality and logic. It is still a legend that fascinates and terrifies people to this day.